Hi guys, it's Rick from Tackle Village back with another video. Now this video is going to be on repairing waders. I've shot another video on this before, but um, the, the issue with that one was I didn't actually have a hole in my waders, so I just explained the theory. But now I have a hole in my waders and I'm going to show you how to repair it. These are my Sims uh, G4Z waders, a really good pair of waders, but like any waders, they can um, of course get a hole in them. So what I'm going to do is um, show you how to find and repair this hole. First, so first thing is I've turned them inside out. You'll see these are inside out. And then what I do is I get a um, product called rubbing alcohol or isocol, isocol is a brand name I think, uh, and pour this into a little sprayer and we're going to spray the isocol on the waders to locate the leak. So we're going to start working up this leak. Um, I've cheated a bit, I do actually know where the hole is on this one because I've done this um, off camera. But um, what I'm doing now is I'm spraying the isocol on the waders, the inside out section of the waders, and um, I'm going up the waders until I find the leak. Now what will happen is uh, the isocol when it hits the leak will form a little black, a uh, little um, dark circle. So I'm going up the waders, nothing yet because there's no circles appearing and getting up towards the leak now. So uh, what I'm doing is keep on spraying. There we go. Now we're on the leak now and I think you'll see, I, I've previously marked it with, um, with some pen and as you spray the leak with the isocol, you'll see like a dark circle emanating from, from the leak. You actually, this leak's actually an easy one because you can see the broken fibres uh, where, where something's punctured the waders from the other side. See that little um, spreading dark circle? That means we've found our leak. Now I won't, I have been over the rest of these waders all over them, so if you're repairing your own, um, if you've found one leak, just keep going and do the whole surface of the waders until you verify that there's no more leaks. Uh, and any leaks you find, just mark them with a uh, marker pen uh, and what we'll do is we'll come back to the next phase. So um, the next phase involves putting uh, this glue, Aquasil, uh, just a dab of that on, um, on the specific hole. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry out because you don't want to put the Aquasil on when it's wet. So we're going to let this dry out and then come back and I'll show you how to put it on. And um, so we're it. back here with uh, these same G4Z waders with the hole in them. Uh, now we've marked the spot um, just here and we've allowed the ice cold to evaporate off so it's nice and dry. So the only bit remaining is to use this glue, Aquaseal. Always use this glue because it's flexible as well as strong. Um, so when the fabric bends, the glue will bend as well. And then I just take a dab of this glue and I put it on my finger like this. And I find the hole, this is on the inside of the waders of course, and then I just press the um, aqua seal into the hole, maybe sort of do, you know, uh, eighth of an inch around the hole, um, and um, I just leave a, you know, a little bit um, mounded up on there, I don't sort of try and force it in, so now we've got like a tight seal around the hole, and we let leave that to dry and then our waders are good as new so thanks for tuning in um, don't forget to hit like if you enjoy these videos and you want to see more of them uh, thanks very much